Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It used to be a time and a uh, culture slash civilization in this case um, when some people used to look at things differently. And I'm talking about value and uh, achievements. Uh, the more you strive in a competition and the more competition, the more opponents you have and the harder it is, the sweeter the success when you win. Uh, if you fight, let's say, against three people and are low, you know, low quality people, you win the first place. But, you know, you're gonna have a deluded, little delusional sense of achievement. You achieved something, but if you are winning and you compete, uh, uh, let's say, uh, against a country, millions of people, tens of millions of people, and the competition is fierce, once you win it, the achievement, the satisfaction should be, you know, much greater, much, much greater. It used to be like this. Nowadays, we live in a society where everyone gets a trophy. That means uh, participation. And uh, they want to say that um, the person who wins is as good as the person who lost. Um, let's say if you have a distance of uh, 5,000 people in between, doesn't matter. They're the same. And that's false. That's a uh, stupid uh, detrimental ideology, not even philosophy. And you create false, uh, um, false ideal. You, you, you think that you can, uh, how should I put it, self, um, false self-esteem. You build a false self-esteem, which will be cracked the minute that person realizes that put into facing a circumstance will be zero. Um, it happened to me here when I landed in, in this uh, land of the free and land of the brave, United States of America, where everybody knew martial arts. And I said, okay, talk, let's talk about it. Okay, let's show me something. And I realized they didn't know shit. But they were all having self-esteem. But put to work, they didn't know shit. Anyway, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Nobel's Peace Prize, that kind of peace prize, okay? Not the peace peace prize. Uh, the moment when I think the whole world should have realized that that's a uh, political, um, how should I put it, organization, the Nobel's Peace Prize and uh, to some extent other uh, uh, areas over there, not only, you know, political. Also, you look in the literary, you know, Peace Prize with some people with really no literary value had uh, were awarded that just because politically it was correct and let's uh, help Ukraine tomorrow you're gonna have Zelensky somehow and you think of what the hell or maybe he's the greatest hero of all times he is right so the Nobel Peace Prize lost its value like anyone everyone to see when it was award, awarded to um, former US President Barack Obama without doing anything so he didn't compete with anybody, he didn't compete in anything, and he was given the gold medal, and he was uh, the equal of other people who actually did something to uh, be awarded that prestigious uh, you know, Peace Prize, Nobel Peace Prize. In this case, we have another contender, and for good reasons, I think this one has a uh, good chance of winning that. The problem is, how do you look at that prize now when you know that, when you know that you're going to be the equal of former President Barack Obama, who didn't achieve shit in that direction? I mean, he invaded. What happened to Libya? Hey, hello. What happened to Libya? Okay. So uh, it's a lot of peace uh, before, in between, and after uh, the intervention is a lot of peace. So anyway, remember this person, President Obama, Obama former president, he was awarded that before he did anything. So now we have Erdogan, the, I have to use my both hands, the big bold uh, president of Turkey, who did so much for this Ukraine, uh, Russia, United States, NATO bullshit. For, I mean, he was the busy bee of them all in a positive way, because I'm pretty sure there were some busy bees in a negative way behind the scenes, okay? So he is nominated for Nobel 
peace price and i hope uh, he gets it and he might uh, refuse it he said yeah thank you yeah okay and i would like here thank you very much take it back because that's an insult because that would put me on the same level with someone who did not deserve it so you know which one is it you elevate that person it's not his fault it's not obama's fault so hold your horses okay take it easy relax okay I don't have anything with that guy. He was a very articulated person who didn't say shit. No substance, but he was very articulated. That's Obama. Now, he was awarded that. He could have said, no, that's how we used to be, uh, I don't know, about 2,000 years ago, when you say, no, I don't deserve that. I didn't do anything yet. I can't accept that. Thank you very much. But he didn't do that. He said, I think I uh, deserve that. And... Mm, let me be clear, okay? Clear about what? What did you do? Nothing. So how come you deserve that one? That's a fraud. So I don't think Erdogan, I would allow Erdogan to let the things go. When he wins it, maybe, I don't think he's going to move to whatever, he's going to, to pick up his uh, little uh, price. And then over there say in front of everybody, you know what? This doesn't mean much because of this and this and this and i can give you more examples but that's not the time uh, you can look into literary uh, nobel P nobel prize for literature i know one with um, what was that white knights or something look at that one read it for yourself anyway this article comes from republic world and it's from uh, december 28 2022 turkey's erdogan nominated for nobel peace prize for i'm quoting efforts to resolve Ukrainian crisis. Yes, he did something. He actively did something. Not only blah, blah, blah. He solved certain things. He got involved. He went to Zelensky. He went to, uh, what's his name, Putin. He talked to them. He spoke with Macron. He spoke with any other weasel. He did something. You know what I mean? Successful, unsuccessful, he was at the forefront of all this. I think he deserves it. But anyway, uh, its value was diminished by the last the latest example, I'm not trying to, you know, the only thing I would blame Obama, President Obama, former President Obama for is because he said, no, I'm sorry, I didn't do anything to earn it. So if I do something, then you, but hey, what do you expect? I mean, you, ha you need character. Yes, that's exactly what I said. You need character and you have to be not humble, but at least honest. Did I do anything about it? Imagine if someone knocks at the door and say, you're the greatest human being because I don't know, you're the, the hero of the planet. And you say, what the fuck did I do? You're the, uh, whatever, Mr. Gigi, you are the greatest. And you say, oh, I think I am. <laughs> Let me verify, look in the mirror. You know that uh, silence of the lamb, I would fuck myself. That's exactly how I, first, I see that. Anyway, so would you do that? For the money, but you know in your heart that that's not something that you earned. And now it becomes, you know, dreams during the nighttime. You wake up, uh, you know, all wet and sweat and all that because you realize maybe there were some other ones. Not maybe, certainly. There were many, many others that could have been awarded that. But I took, I cut the corner. I got the money, but you need the money. Obama did not need the money. Anyway, Erdogan, Erdogan. So Mustafa Sentop nominated the Turkish leader for his efforts in the name of peace between Russia and Ukraine. He has a very strong case. Turkish President Re Recep Tayyip Erdogan was nominated the Nobel Prize, Peace Prize by Turkish Parliamentary Speaker Mustafa Shentop IV for his supposed efforts. Now, these are weasels. We all know he made efforts, right? For supposed, his supposed efforts in resolving the Ukrainian crisis. Well, show me another one. Can you show me another fucker who tried that harder than this guy? I'm listening. I'm listening. You don't have anybody else. Uh, all right. To resolving the Ukrainian crisis reported Greek City Times or Greek City Times. And I'm quoting, I have nominated President Erdogan for Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in the name of peace between Russia and Ukraine. This is my own appeal. There will also be appeals from other countries, the Turkish parliamentary speaker told the media on Wednesday. On Sunday, Erdogan, now they fuck him up, 
slammed the West for so for so-called provocations in Ukraine against Russia. Right now, they attack his character. Right here, and I'm quoting. Unfortunately, the West has only made provocations and failed to make efforts to be mediated in the Ukraine-Russia war. Do you think he's lying? Do you think he's delusional? Or do you think he's telling the truth? Nevertheless, the author of this article thinks that Erdogan is a fraud and is accusing the wrong, you know, the wrong party, the attacking the victim, as is as is explained here. Uh, when you say, "Hey, wait a second. You committed a crime. Oh, are you attacking the victim? No, I'm just stating the facts, baby doll. Sit down. Take it easy. Anyway, so, and I'm quoting, as Turkey, we as, as Turkey, we assumed this med mediator role in 2022 and we began to operate the Black Sea Grain Corridor, he added. Uh, last week saw Erdogan break his silence over European Union foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell's stance on Turkey, joining other nations in imposing sanctions on Russia as the war in Ukraine escalates even further. I don't take, I don't take Borrell as a vis-a-vis. -vis. I'm quoting all this. His level could be to talk to our foreign minister Mevlut Bey Kavusoglu. It's an ugly statement. Borrell can't define and formalize our relations with Russia. He has neither the qualification nor the ability to make such decisions. Who is he? to assess our relations with Russia with respect to sanctions." End quote. True or not true? Is, you, is, is, it, is, it, is Turkey a free country, sovereign country? Yeah. Can, he, can Turkey talk? Or it has to be like uh, the European Union fucking bottom feeders, weasels, hmm? hyenas, jackals, uh, caving to the lion going around, dragging his on the floor. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, not his lip. Something else a little bit back. So anyway, he says, furthermore, he called out Borrell for, his, for, for bringing up such statement at a time when global leaders are leading Turkey, lauding, bravo, good job, Turkey, for the efforts it has made to implement the Istanbul agreements on grain. And I'm quoting, while all the leaders of Europe are thanking us, you make statements like that, Erdogan. What this mother said? Uh, is it said here? Doesn't say. Okay. Um, well, no, he doesn't say. He said on Sunday Erdogan slammed the West. Last week Erdogan broke his silence. I don't see what uh, this guy said. Probably he slammed the, um, he slammed slammed Turkey for uh, not joining the Russian hysteria. I'm assuming based on the context, Erdogan was saying. After all, we we are not tards. Okay, we might look like, but we're not. <laughs> Anyway, I would give from 0 to 10, I would give Erdogan a 9. You know why? Because I put him in the context of others, competitors, candidates. Give me another one. Biden? <laughs> uh, that uh, Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipe, that's not going to happen. No, one way or another, we're going to... It's Biden for you. And other reasons, okay? They're going to de-escalate a conflict by escalating with weapons support. Mm, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, double speak right here. So, uh, what, Boris Johnson? He slapped Ukraine over their noses when they dealt with uh, the Russians in Istanbul, remember, in uh, March, late March? Because the Americans said, what? Do you, you negotiate without us? We're gonna punch you in your balls right now. And exactly what happened. Uh, the below 86 IQ German Chancellor? Macron. Macron was an, is a candidate. I will take that one. But Macron... Macron, the president of France, showed his uh, pingy lingy 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 when he was called out by the Ukrainians saying, what do, you talk, what do you have to talk with Putin so so much? And Macron was like, let me crawl back under the little rock I came from. I crawled from under and let's stay over there for about two months. And after that, I'm going to look if the wind is stopped, not blowing anymore, and I'm coming back as a lion that I am. So that's why Macron for me, ping. Anyway. Another one could be, but he was not really working for that, uh, the Hungarian uh, Prime Minister Orban, but he was not. He was just saying, stop this bullshit and all that, but he did not actively, you know, dealt with anybody because uh, the little clown in uh, Kiev, supposedly, uh, would not talk with uh, the great leader of Hungary. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.